Welcome back, School of Keys in the house here at Cool Moon Music. Um, just a brief tutorial on the use of the sustain pedal for your piano. Um, some of you who are going into grade three will realize very quickly that you're going to need to know how to use this very important tool. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Okay, so we'll start off with something simple, just five notes one after the other i'm going to use one finger to help further emphasize the uh, difference that the uh, sustain pedal will make so g a b c d okay as you can hear there's a bit of silence in between each note very small amount but it's enough to uh, make a difference of course i can eliminate that silence by using all of my fingers and playing legato. But of course, if you're playing chord progressions and you're using three or four uh, fingers at once uh, for each chord, then it becomes a little bit more difficult to maintain that smooth legato sound moving from one chord to the next. Uh, right, let's hear what it sounds like with the pedal being used. Um, just a reminder that the pedal is there to hold out the note after you've released it and what I'm doing here is I'm pressing the first note and then I'm pressing the sustain pedal and I'm going to hold it down and then when I strike the next note I'm going to release the sustain pedal and then immediately press it back down again and what that does that gets rid of the timing, gets rid of any um, overlap between the two notes. And it also gives you a chance to raise your finger and get to the next note in time. So the, the order of movement is, play the first note, then you sustain. As you press the second note, immediately afterward, you release the sustain pedal and then press it back down again. And then after you've held down the sustain pedal for the new note, you can release your finger and go to the next note. Right. So as you're listening, I want you to observe the timing of the uh, movement of my foot on the pedal. Okay, now when you're used to that, um, you will learn very quickly that it can help you with giving yourself enough time to move from one chord to the next without that gap that you hear. All right, we're gonna use two simple chords, C and F. It's without the pedal, and this is with the pedal. With the pedal, without, and with the pedal again, okay, now the other thing you can do with this is apply the use of it for that um, rhythmic interpretation for a very simple kind of um, uh, feel. Now what you can notice here is that I'm keeping the pedal down for the entire time that I'm playing C, even though I'm striking those notes repeatedly but then I release a sustain pedal as soon as I switch over to F. And then back to C again, I will release the pedal and put it back down. And this is what happens if you don't actually get that um, 
sustained pedal movement in time. When you move from one chord to another, you get that spill, that overlap. Okay, so you can hear the difference that it makes if you don't use the pedal um, and also if you pedal too late. Okay, there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it made sense to you. Hope it helped. Um, I'll, I can't emphasize enough how important accuracy is above speed. All right, some of you will be trying to go faster, trying to think you can get this like really slick, really smooth, uh, really quickly. It's not the case. You know, speed is overrated. All right, the speed will come naturally. All you've got to do is get the movement right. You just ask anybody in any other kind of discipline and they'll tell you the same thing, okay? Sports, um, learning to drive, same principle applies. Accuracy is definitely more important than speed. So slow down and practice, okay? See you on the next one. Ciao.